Hey guys, welcome to my first video. My name is Fasil Amin Sharif and you are watching Vlog Farmish. Today I want to talk to you and show you about Pindi Pirinal which is a huge Christian festival celebrated in my hometown Irinalakuda. It usually takes place on the Sunday uh, that falls two weeks after Christmas. And let me tell you guys, the people of Irinalakuda are so excited uh, for this festival. They start getting ready to it at least a couple of months in advance. <laughs> So tomorrow is the festival and I wanted to show you how we prepare for it in my hometown of Irinalakuda. <laughs> <laughs> One big tradition is to decorate the front of your house with a special plan date, which is a big deal for the house owner. First, we start by cutting the banana plant a day before the festival, then uh, remove all the leaves and only keep the stem, also called pindi in regional language, which is the base of the plant. Then we stick the pindi into the ground like this. Simple. After that, we decorate the pindi with LED bulbs and garland. It's a tradition that all the Christian families in Itinalakura follow. We are currently in Irinjalakuda town for the festival. There are all sorts of stage shows happening on the side of the road, like Mono Akita, Karkutu, Violin Fusion, Magic Show, and some music competition. It's going to be pretty busy today with traffic control and a heavy police muscles to keep everyone safe. Tomorrow is the festival and the town is getting more and more beautiful by the minute. All the Christian homes and shops here in Irinalakuda are decorated with LED bulbs and the streets are lined with them too. It's such a sight to see. The next three days are going to be insane. Everyone in the town is going to forget about everything else and just celebrate. is looking really pretty with all the LED bulbs decorating the streets, churches and houses. I will show you around and you can see all the preparation and lighting arrangements.
and on Saturday there is also the sacred arrow processions for each family which is to honor the arrow that bears Saint Sebastian. The sacred arrow is brought to each home to be worshipped and then it is taken to the decorator chariots with lots of fireworks. This is called Ponkurishu Pradikshana. This is a really special event because it's held to honor the memory of Saint Sebastian. On the morning before the festival, which is always on a Saturday, the Golden Cross is delivered to every single house in the community. And then in the evening, the crosses are collected from each house and taken to the church in these really cool chariots that are decorated with LED bulbs and flowers. It's a huge event and there are so many family units participating, with each one having its own chariot. The crosses are then taken to the church and carried around in a procession. So on the festival, every house will have a bunch of delicious food. Everyone will invite their family and make it a big celebration. Both kids and adults will set off firecrackers in their homes, at churches and even on the streets. And then after the procession, there will be Holy Communion at the church. Also, during the three days of the feast, there will be special Holy Masses, prayers and ceremonies at the church. The celebrations kick off on Saturday morning with drumming through the main roads of Irinyarakuda. Trust me, the Pindi Perunal lives up to its nickname as the Festival of Festivals. It's a sight to see with 1200 pearl umbrellas, 100 gold crosses, 6 types of musical instruments and a parade with thousands of people filling the streets with color. On the top of that, the houses are all decked out with Pindi decorations and lit up with lamps for 3 whole days. It's something the Irinyarakuda parish takes great pride in and they truly celebrate with all their heart and soul. But the main event is on Sunday and that's when the big procession takes place, starting around 3 pm with prayers and fireworks. People come from all over to join in the festival and everyone wears their new clothes for the occasion. One Irinyarakuda resident said it perfectly. Half the year is spent waiting for the Pindi Pirinal, and the other half is spent reliving the memories of it. It's such a special and meaningful festival for the people here in Irinyarakuda. Okay everyone, thanks for tuning into my latest vlog about Pindi Perunal in my hometown Irinyalakuda. I hope you enjoyed learning about this beautiful festival. And don't worry, the Discover Kerala series isn't over yet. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and share it with your friends. And as always, I will catch you in my next vlog. This is Fasil Amishari signing off.